In this episode, we'll look at how to build questions and prepare your Qualtrics survey for participants. As part of your research project, you will work with your instructor and classmates to create a statement of informed consent. This is a written statement that explains your research project and any potential risks of participation, as well as information about the rights that participants in your research have. Your instructor must approve of your consent statement before you can proceed with building your survey. Once you have your approved informed consent statement, you can add it as the first item in your survey. First, open your approved informed consent statement. It is likely a Microsoft Word document similar to the one we're using in this example. Save your consent form in rich text format by selecting File, then Save As, and selecting Rich Text Format from the Save As Type drop-down menu. This will remove any special formatting created by Microsoft Word that can interfere with Qualtrics. Once you have converted your consent form to RTF format, copy the text. Then, open your browser and log in to Qualtrics. Your instructor has already created a blank survey for you to use and has shared it with you. Please note that your instructor has full access to your survey and any data you collect during this project. Select the survey title link listed under My Projects. A new multiple choice question will automatically appear. Select the click to write the question text. Select the Change Question Type button that will appear located on the Question Options bar on the right hand side of the screen. Notice that you can hover over a question type in the menu to see a helpful example. For the consent form, we will use the descriptive text question type. Select it from the menu to update the format of your first question. Select the Click to Write the Question Text. Select the Rich Text Editor button that appears just above. This will open a window where you can type or paste in your informed consent message. Paste the consent form text from your Word document into this window in Qualtrics. If you see an error message indicating you have exceeded the text limit in Qualtrics, double check that you saved your consent form in rich text format first to remove any special formatting created by Microsoft Word that can interfere with Qualtrics. Use the features in the text editor to do any formatting such as bold or italic text. When you are finished, select any area outside of the window to close it. Now we'll add the consent statement that participants must agree to in order to take the survey. Select the Create a New Question button at the bottom of the screen. A new multiple choice question will automatically appear. Select Click to write the question text and type the consent message into the question box. Your instructor will provide you with the exact words to use for the consent message. By default, Qualtrics automatically provides three blank answer choices. You will only need one answer choice for this question. Type a 1 into the Choices option box on the Question Options bar at the right side of the screen to set the number of answer options provided to 1. Answers 2 and 3 are automatically removed. Use this feature anytime you want to choose the number of answer options for a multiple choice question. Type this message, Yes, I have read the informed consent, into the remaining answer choice. Lastly, we want to set this question as required. Respondents must answer it or they will not participate in the survey at all and they will not see any other questions. To require this question, select the Force Response checkbox from the Options bar on the right-hand side of the screen. A star icon will also appear next to the question to indicate that it is a required question. Also select the Page Break option from the right-hand side of the screen to place a page break after the consent question. A gray dashed dividing line will appear under the consent question. This will prevent participants from seeing the rest of the survey questions before they answer the consent question. Every time you want to add a new question to your survey, select the Create a New Question button at the bottom of the screen. 
Multiple choice questions are the most often used type of survey question. Select the click to write the question text to write the question. Choose the rich content editor to view tools for editing long questions. Select each answer choice to edit it. Additional tools are found in the blue drop-down menu to the right of each answer choice. To remove an answer choice that you do not need, select it and use the delete key on the keyboard to remove it permanently. Or type the desired number of answer options in the choices box on the question options bar. In addition to multiple choice questions, you can also use Qualtrics to create many other types of questions. Select the Change Question Type button in the Question menu bar on the right and choose the type of question you want from the menu. Hover your mouse over each question type to see a helpful example. Once you have added a question to your survey, use the Options bar to customize your question and answer options. Qualtrics also includes free technical support and a large online library of user guides. If you need additional assistance using Qualtrics or would like information about other features of Qualtrics not explored in this video, select the Help and Feedback link located near the top right of the screen from within Qualtrics.